Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's around noon or close to noon. But this is Bill and Emily, and we just got done uh, training today. Uh, we do uh, interval training, uh, strength tr training. And I wanted to give you guys uh, uh, just a little update on how we're doing on our uh, intermittent fasting and extended fasting that we really like. And uh, with the research that we've done so far in the last few months, uh, we've, we, uh, we totally understand. Uh, all the health benefits that are involved with intermittent fasting and especially with extended fasting so basically that's going to be pretty much uh, my platform now along with the electrolyzed reduced water which will always be the base that's going to be always to start with my platform but I'm adding the intermittent fasting to some of the people that I'm working with because of all the benefits to it not just for the weight loss part of it or the body fat, uh, fat part of it but the all-around picture, the all-around puzzle that the intermittent fasting does as far as health. But I, uh, Emily, I just came off of a what I call an alternating fasting. She just Sorry. turned uh, right, uh, that wasn't me. Sorry. Um, uh, we just came off of a uh, two-week what I call alternating fasting and extended fasting or intermittent fasting, which consisted of uh, uh, Monday was a 24-hour fasting. Tuesday was our normal 18-6, Wednesday 24, uh, Thursday was an 18-6. So we did that for two weeks. I really liked it a lot. I did stay within my 177 to uh, 180 pounds on the scale weight. I did lose, we both did lose more body fat. We felt great. Our, uh, we actually went up in uh, some of our weights on some of our exercises. Uh, so obviously we are getting stronger. So um, I really enjoyed it. It was very simple, very easy. Now those of you that have never done intermittent fasting, um, you know, I have a video out there uh, in my YouTube channel. Uh, if you go to Bill Mabry, M-A-B-R-Y, there's videos there that will help you start off, but you don't want to start off like we are now. So start baby steps. But anyway, our recovery was great. Uh, like I said, our strength was great. Our energy level was phenomenal. Um, I love the uh, feeling I get halfway through my exercises. It feels like uh, somebody shot me full of adrenaline. Well, now we totally understand uh, why we're feeling that uh, that way. So when you do understand that and and it uh, and you do get that feeling, then you want more of it. Well, this uh, so now that we've gone through that uh, alternating uh, intermittent fasting and extended fasting uh, Emily and I are going to try something new this this week just to see how it reacts to our training and how to how it reacts to losing more body fat and so we're doing a what what we're calling and it's it's called a bone broth fast uh, 72 hour bone broth fast and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going uh, uh, Monday today is our starting of it and at the at the 24 hours at the end of our fasting we're going to do bone broth now most of you out there that might be doing intermittent fasting or extended fasting uh, bone broth is a great way to come off your fasting there's so much health benefits to it and what you do is you just have eight ounces of bone broth uh, when your fasting is over and just wait a little while then have your normal meal but if you could do that you're gonna really benefit in just not only in the uh, health benefits from intermittent fasting and extended fasting but you're just gonna add more on top of that but by doing the bone broth uh, or you guys could also do high fat good raw uh, high fat like MCT oil come off your fasting with that uh, uh, do uh, avocado come off a of fasting with that uh, mixed nuts are great. I do a lot of mixed nuts also. And so what Emily and I are going to do this week is we'll do this 72-hour bone broth fast. So on Monday, Tuesday, and uh, Wednesday, we'll actually um, start, uh, we'll actually do the bone broth in the evening time and see how that goes. And I'm going to document everything. Uh, I am going to watch my scale weight. And, and, I, and I'll know if it's going to work or not because on Tuesday or on Wednesday when I do my legs, I'm going to be burning more. My body's going to need more energy for the legs because it's a bigger muscle. And so that'll be the true story and how I uh, go through my leg day because it takes so much energy to uh, to work the uh, legs itself so that's our update so so far like I said um, 
we're feeling great. Uh, so far, I really like the alternating um, intermittent fasting, um, but, but we're primarily 18-6 uh, intermittent fasting. And so what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to find out different protocols and find out what, what we like to do. And then obviously when I uh, work with somebody who's looking to do the same thing, I'll have different types of protocols that we could try them because we're, we're not all the same and my protocol may not work for you and that's understandable so we can we can fit, figure it out and guys you know what I mean those of you that don't know much about this it, it's really a benefit to the body not just for the body fat loss but the overall health puzzle it really helps with a lot of things and um, Emily and I are, are learning stuff all the time you know when when we sit down and watch TV we're not watching football and we're not watching programs you know we may in the evening time later on watch one movie but most of our time is watching research or lectures or researching stuff because we want to make sure that um, the information we are getting actually really works and we and we want to see the science on it guys and so we actually learned a new word this morning both of us and uh, Emily I'm gonna throw you out here what was that new word that we learned autophagy Okay, and can you tell me what that means? Um, cell regeneration. Okay, guys, when you're doing an extended fasting, 20 hours or more, you're actually you doing the autophagy. 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 Uh, is that what it is? It's hard <laughs> no. to say. But you're actually doing that, and what that is is that your body has the is during during that extended fasting, your body's actually flushing out all the crappy cells and all the junk protein that you have in your brain or in in your body so it's regenerating uh, new cells too so that's that's a major major uh, health benefit to keep a to slow premature I mean to slow premature aging so we need to flush it flush out those old dead cells and those old proteins that are floating around and what's really cool another thing I've learned and here I you know I've got all this experience as far as strength and conditioning coach and I didn't even know this part of it. I know a lot about the ATP energy system and how important that is to recover during strength training. But I didn't realize that when you're doing intermittent fasting, now I'm talking about extended fasting, uh, 20 hours or more or 48 hours, is that when you get to that point where you're producing uh, a lot of growth hormones and you're exercising during your fasting, that when you guys are, and this is for you guys that are uh, doing uh, strength training, you know to the point to where you're doing your last set of an exercise and you kind of feel that your muscles are burning and you know those, those of us that have been in the industry for a while know that's lactic acid. Okay, so, but what I didn't know is that on intermittent fasting and extended fasting, when you're doing weight training, during your fasting, you're already uh, producing about uh, you know five times to a thousand times more growth hormones during that period. And you know, and th those of you that are looking to put lean muscle on, that's exactly what you want to do. Now, I'm not talking about taking uh, injections. I'm doing it taking your own body. You're not only doing your growth hormones, but you're actually increasing testosterone also. But what I didn't know is that when you feel that burning sensation when you're exercising which is lactic acid you're actually adding to more of your growth hormones and I didn't know that I had no idea so now today I made sure that on my last couple of reps I made sure I felt that burning because definitely I want to get as much growth hormone into my body as I can to slow premature aging okay guys and so that's that's uh, what Emily and I are doing this uh, next uh, 72 hours and so on Thursday morning when we get done uh, training I'll update you and how we did on um, on that um, but and I also weighed myself this morning for a starting point and I weighed uh, 178.2 and so at the end on uh, Thursday morning I'll weigh my scale weight again and, and hopefully I'm gonna feel the same way I've been feeling now for the last three months and hopefully I'm gonna keep seeing the uh, uh, the body fat com coming co coming off so guys uh, that's our update
Hope you guys are going to have a great day. Uh, Emily and I are going to have a great day. Say, go say goodbye to the world, Emily. Goodbye, world. And we'll see you guys the next time around. We'll get back to you on Thursday morning. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye.